Welcome. I'm Jim Jackson. This is my colleague, Kevin Kazi, and we're bonding over bonds. Kevin, the, probably the number one topic in the markets right now is inflation. Mm -hmm. uh, pundits, the news is consuming a lot of bandwidth on it. Uh, the markets tell a more nuanced story. What are, the, what are the markets telling? Well, right now we're seeing a flattening of the yield curve, which has been driven by the front end of the treasury curve. The two-year treasury yields have increased 25 basis points since the end of the third quarter, while the 10-year treasury yield has only increased about 10 basis points. So what is that telling us? Uh, well, potentially the market is expecting a increase, uh, rate increase from the Fed um, to help dampen inflation. Sure, I think we're, we're seeing that in the Fed funds market that the probability of a rate increase in mid-2022 has gone up. It has. I mean, you, the market is uh, pricing in a rate increase, but uh, longer term inflationary expectations has been flat since the end of the quarter. So the market pricing shows uh, some level of confidence that um, inflation will not be a long term issue. Now, I, I would also note that the 30 year Treasury yield has declined since the end of the quarter and is actually right now sitting around 2% for 30 years. That also is not showing that there's long-term concerns about higher CPI rates. Agreed. Um, you know, let us also point out the equity multiples, uh, which would suffer in a persistently higher inflationary environment, um, are really pretty high as well. So it's just another indicator that the market uh, is not pricing in higher inflation. Now, we know that the market can be wrong. It happens all the time. Yeah. What are the counterpoints to some of the things that the market is showing us. Sure. Uh, you know, consumer inflation expectations uh, have been creeping up. Uh, supply, chain, supply chain disruptions continue to persist. Um, there are many drivers that I think will up in this, could up in this market. Um, but that is why specifically we don't uh, rely on macroeconomic forecasting in our process. Sure. That is absolutely true. When you position fixed income according to a bet on rates or a macro call, your performance outcome tends to be tends to be binary. Either you get that call right or you don't. We focus on evaluating underlying credit and investing to generate higher income for our clients because that's what drives returns over time. So Kevin, to you and your family, have a happy Thanksgiving. And to you as well. And to the viewers of Bonding Over Bonds, happy Thanksgiving to you as well.